Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, today I am outside doing my video and it is very hot outside. I don't know why I want to be out here. It's really pretty though, so I mean that is why I want to be out here, but it's extremely hot. So, guys, so as you can tell, my hair is different and that's what this video is. It is my um, hair update. You guys know how I like to cut my hair and we'll go get my hair cut and then update you guys because it's like, you know, new hair, new person. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like, you look different, so I want to, like, tell you guys about it. <laughs> but anyways, so, th I guess this video, what I wanted to try to talk about was, like, my hair update slash the pixie cut and for anybody who would want to try and get a pixie cut, um, I guess, I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about it, because I'm not, like, you know how I, like, I go, just go off on a subject. So, basically, if you want to get a pixie cut, um, I always say go for it. Now, you do want to make sure that you do have the face structure, because some people with fuller faces, or I don't even know if that's the term for it, but some people would wouldn't look so good in a pixie cut as compared to others so you do want to get suggestions on what face types I mean it's not one specific face type that can get a pixie cut there's a ton of people who get them and sometimes just depending on what kind of pixie cut you get it'll look good on you because there's different kinds and as you can tell like for me I always get my hair cut differently I I don't like getting the same haircut all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. But I always say that you can try different haircuts because your hair grows back. So it's like, oh, I don't like this haircut. You know, you can, it always grows back. You don't really have to worry that much about it. And then um, one thing about getting a pixie cut, if you want to continue having a pixie cut, it is something that you have to be... Um, I can't think of the word right now, but you have to maintain it because either you learn how to cut your hair yourself or you will have to be going back to the hair cut at least once a month. Um, not even once a month, it depends on how you feel about your hair because um, it did take me about two months to go get my hair cut because as you can tell in my past videos, my hair did get very long as compared to when I first got my hair cut and then so it's been about two months since then and now I just got it cut, you know what I mean? So when you have a pixie cut, usually you do have to get your hair cut around one month. So it is something that you have to maintain if you want to keep the look. Um, but besides that, I mean, if you get a pixie cut, you can always grow it out. Which, when growing it out, it's not really that complicated. You will look shaggy for a while, but then you can go to the hairdresser and tell them that, you know, you had a pixie cut and you're trying to grow your hair out, and they'll trim you up, and they'll make you look good. So, I, I did that. I did have a pixie cut, and I grew it out. And then I cut it again. <laughs> so, um... I mean, I love having a pixie cut, and I think this is like the fourth time I've gotten my hair cut like this, not like this, but like as a pixie cut, just different ways. I think this is like the fourth or fifth time, and I mean, pretty much, I guess I'll just tell you, my last haircut that I got, it was longer in the front completely, and I had blunt bangs this one, this time I got my hair fringed. I do need to grow out my bangs a little more because it's not exactly what I wanted it to look like, but that's that's because I need to grow my bangs out more. But I did get my hair cut all around, so it's very short. I like it though, so I'm very happy with my hair, and then I have it long in the front, and yeah, that's how I have my hair. Oh, and another thing I wanted to share with you guys for my hair update was that in one of my earlier videos, my recent, one of my early recent videos, I did, um, buy some hair lightener. I showed you guys about, um, Sunin, and I just want to say it works 
Um, I don't know if you can tell right now, probably not, but my hair underneath, because I tried it underneath my bangs, it is a lot lighter as compared to the top of my head. It really is. So, um, sun in sun in hair lightener, I highly recommend it for you guys. And my hair doesn't feel dry or anything at all. I did put in leave-in conditioner. Um, I, I forgot before. I put it in before. I took a shower. I should do a video on it later, but Sun and Hair Lightener, if you want to look it up, I highly do recommend it because it does work. Um, I used it uh, once a day for the past two days and my hair is already, already showing, you know, a difference. So hair update and the pixie cut look. Um, I guess this is the end of my video, guys. So thanks for watching. I do have um, outfit of the day that I just did today so I'll be uploading these two videos at the same time so keep on the lookout for the other video <laughs> so bye bye guys